Okay, my friends, let's uh, move away for a couple of hours from the noise of Istanbul. From this very busy, noisy city. Let's cross one of the entrances that takes us to the palace here in Istanbul. You can see the entrance right here. These are the walls that once surrounded the famous palace. Let's go through the walls to our left, actually to our right, towards that direction is the site for the archaeological museums of Istanbul and also the entrance to the palace. Let's forget that for now and let's take a left and cross these beautiful metal gates and enter Gülhane Park, the Park of the Roses. Here we are. This huge park was at one time part of the Ottoman Palace of Topkapi, which is once again to our right. And it is the most important, quite possibly the most beautiful of the parks here in the historic part of Istanbul. And the weather is just perfect for our video. We love videotaping parks when it's kind of cloudy because there's no shade from the trees so we can get beautiful views. There's a small area here with a couple of uh, actually three fountains and small bridges. We may hear a lot of noise and that's because they are maintaining right now the walls that surround the palace and the gardens. So let's walk around and let's enjoy this magnificent place. Thousands of locals and tourists come here every day in order to enjoy the shade, the fountains, the pieces of art, and the flowers. There are so many flower beds here, beautifully landscaped and maintained. So let's walk around at the very end of this park. I don't know if we're going to make it that far. We're going to reach the point where Golden Horn merges with Bosporus and the Sea of Marmara. Let's do it. And uh, no park would be a Turkish park unless there was a statue of Kemal Ataturk, the father of the modern Turkish Republic, right there. And this area here is beautifully landscaped, as you can see, with wild flowers. The Turks are absolute masters of landscaping. Amongst other things as well, of course. There are so many benches here, and if you come here in the middle of the day, in the middle of a hot summer day, this is where everybody comes to take a break from the noise and from the huge crowds entering Hagia Sophia just behind us and the palace. You can see here there's plenty of shade. Bring a drink, non-alcoholic. Sit here and enjoy the beautiful views. How peaceful it could be. It is beautiful, isn't it? And that's the view of the road that we took in order to enter the park. 
and we turn around, we're going to be walking towards the tip of the Golden Horn Peninsula, the historic area of Constantinople or Istanbul. From here we can see how beautifully landscaped the whole area is. There are also quite a few pieces of art scattered all over the park. Unfortunately, they're also mowing the lawn, they're cutting the grass, and there's a lot of noise in that area. But from here we can see the beautiful landscaping. When you see vehicles and uh, motorcycles running through the park, that's mostly the police. There's a lot of police presence here in the historic district of Istanbul, and there's a very good reason. The Turks are very careful and very well prepared to face a terrorist attack in the touristy areas of Constantinople. Here's another beautiful area. As you can see. Continuing our walk towards the tip of the Golden Horn Peninsula. We're taking a different path. Now the bags that you see here are rubbish bags or garbage bags full of grass. They have been mowing and cutting the grass since early this morning. So let's forget that. Just admire the beautiful landscaping and the surrounding area. If you come to Istanbul and you have a couple of hours with nothing to do, or you're too tired to go back to your hotel, this is the ideal place to visit. And uh, that's the wall of the palace, the original wall of Topkapi Palace. Here's another part of the park. It's a small place for children to play right there. You can see how peaceful, how beautiful the whole area is really. And uh, here is another beautiful, peaceful area of the park. with beautiful landscaping as you can see. To my left is the palace up there, you can see the wall. And uh, in this part of the park, we can see a couple of sites with uh, roses carved on marble slabs right there. There's a colony of parakeets here. You can hear them right above me. It's a beautiful row of maple trees right there ahead of us. These buildings are attached to the outer wall of the complex here. The palace is to my left, and that wall to my right surrounds the gardens and the palace. Now you may say, hold on a second, it is called the Park of Roses. I haven't seen any roses yet. Well, this area of the park 
has a lot of rose bushes all over the place of different kinds. It's not exactly the famous Regent's Park that we see in London as far as the roses are concerned. But you can see many different kinds here and right here ahead of us you can see the pink and red roses as well right there. As I said, there are quite a few places here in the park with pieces of art. The most popular is here. It shows a musician playing a local or a Turkish instrument, which the Greeks also call buzuk. I think this is buzuki, isn't it? Somebody can help us with the name of this instrument here. Now, this is a very popular spot for people to come and take a break for a few minutes on a very hot day. Okay, my friends, in order to conclude this video of Gülhane Gardens and Park here in Istanbul, Turkey, let's come back to the fountains we saw when we first entered the park and here we find walls painted with tulips there's a reason for that in the beginning of the 18th century there was an Ottoman Sultan Ahmed the third he was a Sultan between 1706 and 1730 he loved tulips he planted hundreds of thousands of them in this park that area of Ottoman history became as the Tulip era. Every Turkish person that knows his or her history know about the Tulip period here in Turkey. That's why you see photographs of tulips. The season for tulips has passed. That's why we didn't see any tulips anywhere during our walk. This is Vek. Thank you for joining me. That's the entrance that we took in order to enter this wonderful park and gardens. We saw quite a bit. Apologies for the noise. There was nothing I could do about that. It happens. One of the major challenges of videotaping anywhere is noise. Number one challenge. Everything else is secondary. This is Vic. Bye-bye.